Hello everyone. This is part 43 of Ninja News. I'm your host, as always, Ninja Johnny Boy. Welcome. Welcome everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Um, this time around I'm playing some more um, Tomb Raider. Um, Origins of Osiris, or I forget, I forget the real... Uh, I think it might be that, but something something Osiris, or Legend of Osiris, or I believe. Anyway, cool little mini game for free. Um, it's like a a bit of a kind of a run run kind of game, and then puzzle type shooter. It's a cool little game for free. Um, anyway, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well, like I said before. Uh, I've got a little uh, interesting story for you all. Uh, another uh, Nintendo story. Uh, let's get it right into it, shall we? Nintendo delays Switch paid online service to 2018 and reveals pricing. Nintendo's promised paid online offering for its sought-after Switch hybrid TV handheld gaming console has been delayed to 2018. The company announced uh, by way of a revamped website for the service. That's the bad news. Uh, the good news, however, is that online multiplayer, uh, currently offered on a per title basis, will remain gratis until the paid service is ready to rock and roll. Uh, front or back half of next year, Nintendo is saying, only saying, 2018 at this point. Nintendo always being very firm on their uh, on their uh, consoles and their release dates and, and this and that. Uh, but it's but it's also divulging other details we didn't ne yet know. Uh, as expected, uh, the full service will involve a devoted smartphone app. Uh, that interacts with your Nintendo Switch and helps you link up with friends uh, for online play. The app will include an online lobby and voice chat, says Nintendo, including, including the option to invite friends to play online, set play appointments, or chat with friends during online matches in games that support the feature. All from your smartphone device says Nintendo. Uh, the subscribers will be able to download classic Nintendo titles with additional online features including Super Mario Bros. 3, Balloon Flight, and Dr. Mario, says the company. They may also enjoy discounts on select titles and other content as a side perk. Um, and Nintendo is finally talking service pricing uh, revealing, revealing the three tiers, uh, $3.99 per month, $7.99 per three months, or $19.99 per 12 months. Microsoft and Sony, whose established services would at this point yield apples to oranges comparison with Nintendo's. Each offer online subscription plans for $5.99 a year. That is, uh, that's pretty good. I mean, you know, kudos Nintendo, kudos. Um, but I mean, um, the question is, what is their s their main sales feature? And in my mind, it's not online gameplay. I hate to say it, but in my mind, it's just not. Um, as of today, the only paid online features not available or the online lobby and voice chat app, classic game section. Uh, Nintendo notes this g this name is subject to change, um, and eShop deals as well. Uh, everything else announced uh, so far is live now. Um, why not integrate these smartphone app features into the Switch itself? Um, isn't the Switch essentially a smartphone uh, device? 
in a way, uh, shifted sideways. Um, you know the mind of Nintendo, but we can speculate a bit. Like, uh, noticing that smartphones are vastly better at being general social engagement hubs uh, than gamepads interfacing with consoles. Uh, yes, the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 are fine. Uh, honed tools for gaming focused matchmaking. Um, but think about the curious ways Nintendo has been drawing together uh, its mobile apps, uh, Switch games, uh, master account system, and rewards program. Uh, maybe it's aiming higher or broader or flat out weirder. We'll see. Uh, whatever the case, Nintendo says a free and limited version of the smartphone app will be downloaded this summer, presumably as a beta test. Um, I assume we'll hear more of this, you know, uh, with the E3 coming up shortly, uh, you know, there's going to be some reveals there. Now, guys, let's talk Nintendo, let's talk a little bit about Nintendo. I love Nintendo, but I don't really play it a lot enough to state, to say, to state clearly that I it's one of my favorite consoles, because it's not. Um, I loved the Super NES. I loved the N64. I loved the um, the Wii. Um, I had a Game Boy as a kid, you know. Um, and uh, you know, I love playing the the old kind of more cartoonish games, less realistic, um, but more the classics, you know, Mario. Uh, Donkey Kong, Super Smash Bros, uh, that kind of thing. Um, Donkey Kong Racing. Um, and, I mean, to see this kind of thing, uh, like their membership program, be on another scale like that, I'm pretty sure it was free as far as I know from all their other consoles. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but... Um, and there wasn't really a lot of online stuff going on. I mean, the Wii had games like Call of Duty and stuff, but as a whole, I don't, I don't see the average person that's buying a Nintendo going out and wanting to play COD or Halo or those types of games, um, GTA, um, whatever PlayStation has exclusively. Uh, their, their stuff, um, but uh, you know, Nintendo has its place, and uh, it's a fun, it's a fun family, it's a family thing, um, you know. Nintendo always brings the family together, which I love, and uh, who knows? It's, it's, it'll be interesting to see what comes out of this. Um, I probably am not going to get it, to be honest. Um, when you look at its main features, I'd say. The 1,000 foot drop test was a success. Um, you know, we're talking about some seriously decently made hardware here. Um, it's not like your average smartphone where if you drop it, you know, while you're. Because this is what usually happens. You're playing a game, playing a casual game on your phone, and, and then you drop it. Okay? And then you drop it. It lands on the corner and the freaking thing smashes, you know. So, and and you drop it because you're distracted. You're playing a game, you know. You're in public, maybe, obviously. And uh, yeah, with the Nintendo Switch, that's not going to happen. So, in essence, I'd say that's probably a better feature than the online service and how cheap the online service is. Because really, um, what are they going to offer other than some of these? Uh, some of these um, classic game section, which is aw awesome. I mean, I'm not going to pick it up just for that. You can get um, emulators on pretty much every phone um, nowadays. But uh, let me get, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Unfortunately, this is all I have for you guys this time around. This concludes part 43 of Ninja News. Um, your host as always, Ninja Johnny Boy. Signing off and saying take care. Yeah, I'd say 
I don't know. GoldenEye was my favorite Nintendo game. Comment yours in this in this comment section below. Peace.